Walking you through the next several hours, you'll notice a good amount of cloud cover sticking around with us. As we head into tonight, these are the showers and storms that will likely impact us. So if you have anything going on after sunset for dinner time, this is when we're going to start to see those showers and storms arrive. Now, some of these could be on the stronger side. You'll notice they'll come through heavy downpours, heavy uh, showers, not really looking at a flood threat, but these downpours are gonna come quickly and that's gonna reduce that visibility, especially if you are out and about. Then they will become more scattered on the back end, but the heavier amounts are gonna be staying primarily in the northern sections of the area. But either way, it is gonna be good to get some rainfall. We've been very dry out there, so any moisture we can get in the tri-state is gonna be good for our surfaces. We will continue drying out for your Tuesday, but it is gonna be breezy. Temperatures are still going to stay on the warmer side until we get into your uh, Wednesday. That's when the cool down really starts to take shape. So for today, you can expect those temperatures to rise into the mid to upper 60s. It's going to be breezy. Storms will start pushing in tonight, and then we will continue to see those into early tomorrow morning. Primarily going to be those heavy showers and thunderstorms. Make sure you do have a way to get those watches and war warnings in case some of those storms do turn severe tonight and into tomorrow morning. Now, tomorrow we may have a few lingering showers, but most of this should be done and over with before you wake up tomorrow morning. Highs are going to be right around the uh, mid to upper 60s, and winds are still going to be on the gusty side, but we will be working toward a more quiet forecast through the middle part of the week. We will begin cooling down for your Wednesday. Highs are only going to be in the low to mid 50s, so we take a dip, but it's not going to take long for us to warm up. We'll be back to 60. For Good Friday, Saturday and Sunday, rain chances are starting to move in. Now we're still several days away, but as you are preparing for Easter Sunday, some scattered chances of showers may be possible. And it's March 17th.